Sunday, June 7th, 2020. Well, it's been dry for about three weeks out. Uh, the ram pump kicked off last night. I think I think that was more to do with uh, water bubbles in the supply line. But uh, as things get drier, I want to be prepared to irrigate at whatever amount of water I need. And so I'm getting ready to set up the foliar drench pump. Yeah, the foliar drench pump, setting it up so I can plug it in in place of the ram pump and move more water. So what I've done to set that up is made a little plug-in set up here so I can plug into the delivery line from the pump and plug into the foliar feed pump hose output and plug into the foliar feed pump hose input and basically switch that in in place of the ram pump and we can move about four and a half or five gallons a minute of water directly from the spring up to the farm. We can run irrigation directly with that, refill tanks quickly and compensate when the ram pump goes down because it does because of supply during the season sometimes. So uh, when, we, when we do that we'll be able to shut off the upper uh, reservoirs in order to make that switch over without having all that water come back on us. But in the meantime I have the big reservoir, the IBC tote, shut off already and I'm going to shut off the other reservoir here. Uh, I put a special valve in just for this with a remote linkage on it. I'll uh, throw a link to the description of that in this video so you can check out how that's set up. Basically that's just an arm that triggers a regular valve like this open and close. But now we have the upper reservoir shut off and so we can open this up and uh, drain it back down from the bottom to make this adjustment. When we go down there you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we are down at the spot where the ram pump line crosses the existing roadway. Goes through the two inch sleeve and then on up the hill that way. Uh, right here I have a splice in connector. This I set up so I could come down here last year with the old pump and uh, basically plug it in. But it was kind of a pain in the butt to have to disconnect these connectors every time. And I want this to be really simple and easy this year. So uh, that's why we're installing this little, uh, this little modification here. So let's get started. Okay, so what am I really doing here? What I'm really doing is installing garden hose ends so they can adapt to the foliar feed pump just by screwing the garden hose end on on the output and in on the input and switching the valves to that mode. And so we're splicing this into the poly three-quarter line so we can quick connect easily. And so that I don't have to shut off the upper reservoirs to make this switch over, I put this valve on here. So that way I can shut off everything above the pump, switch it over, and then turn it back on easily. Saves a little bit of hassle. So this will go in here, bang, in place of this adapter. And the incoming end from the ram pump will go with the barb on this. And then that'll give us a way to go into the input side of the pump. And then when we're not using it, these two can just plug together and bypass. And then when we need it, we can just hook it up really quickly and easily. So you're probably wondering, what the heck is he doing with the torch if he's not soldering anything? Well, I heat these ends up a little bit so that when you put these barbs in and the end cools, it contracts around the barbs and it makes a nice, tight, leak-free fit. And then, of course, getting these off is a royal pain without a torch. So you heat them up a little bit around the edges, and then you can just slide them back off. So that's why the torch. So there we go. We've got the bypass in place now. Got a valve so we can shut off the upper head. And this is incoming from the pump, and this is outgoing. These two can just go together when we're not using it as a normal bypass. And then since I had to run up and grab an extra clamp, I brought the uh, irrigation pump down. So we'll just hook it up and try it quick. Okay, quick supplemental pump test. I got suction coming from the ram pump. Ram pump is shut off, so that there's water supply there. And then I got the discharge hooked up to the discharge and the valve open. And 
this valve is open, this valve is closed, this valve is closed, and this one's open, and away we go. And a little bit of a leak there. So I might have to replace or repair that. Might just need a new gasket. Prime up. are getting cold. There we go. Now it's cold water stream up. So there you go. Pumping water. No leaks. You can hear the air bubbles going through. Done deal. Successful test. It works. And so there we go. Patch back together. Valve back on. These two together. Now we just use a regular ram pump again. And I gotta get a new gasket for that. We got a little bit of a leak there. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.